Yeah, 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 yeah. What's good? This be the G Shaw Cypher. You are tuned in to On The Grind Live where we support anybody out there grinding in any capacity. It don't matter what that capacity is, as long as it's positive, as long as they get into the bag, as long as they grinding, as long as they can talk about it, we want to talk about it. You know what I mean? So what we do is we always try to take it to another level. So when you know the routine, when you see me, you see dope people. So I'm going to repeat myself. When you see me, you see dope people. Anything else is uncivilized. So when I come back, we're going to come back with somebody as official as anybody else out there that's been grinding. And we're going to keep talking about that grind. You already know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we got the homie with us. You know what I'm saying? We got the homie Uber gang with us. What's good, my G? Man, what's the dilly, man? What's the goddamn Listen, I, deal, man? Yeah. Glad to be here, my guy. Listen, man, I appreciate you taking the time out. You know what I mean? You 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 tuned in, you know what I'm saying? And and we got some things to talk about, but I want to talk it take it back to the origin. You know what I'm saying? I always like I always want to ask somebody. You know, when when I find out what they brand is, meaning your name, right? That's your brand. Where does that come from? And you know, what what told you, okay, this is what I want to go with, you know what I mean, when I introduce myself to the world of music. God dang Uber Gang, man. Uber Gang. Well, first off, Uber Gang, uh Uber Gang, Uber is my last name. Okay. And uh basically uh I just combined it. I just combined things together, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. I had a lot. They in the streets, they called me gang. Okay. And, uh, I just, I used to, I, I used to pull up to, 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 to studios randomly, put up to parties randomly, and I used to be like, man, that boy, that Uber need to hit the freestyle. We want to hear Uber. We want to hear Uber freestyle. And right. then when I pull up to some parties, I got some of my street niggas in there, and I mm-hmm. hit up to some parties. I got some of the people that know me from. From 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 school or my real name or whatever whatever the case right. is, and so they used to you got half of the people calling me gang, you got half of them calling me Uber. So you know I used to be they used to chanting Uber gang, Uber gang, Uber gang. You know what I mean? So right, 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 right. It just it just like kind of just, just like kind of it took off. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, I like I mean? that. You know what I mean? I go together. You know what I mean? I can, I can, that's, that's a dope. I can hear that in the song, Uber Gang, Uber Gang, Uber Gang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, you know, uh, you know, we had a little service where we was, we was giving people rides different places. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And boys right. would call me like, hey, man, I want, I want Uber Gang. I need, we need that Uber Gang service. You know what I mean? Right, right, so, right, right. That's what it is. So not it's only like, did man, you, that's, 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 that's. not only not only did you, um, you know, you 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 took you you took you know what I mean what people was gravitated to and make a brand out of it, but you also took it to another level and made a business out of it. You know what I mean in multiple facets, right? The music, yeah. You know what I mean the rods, things like that. Yeah. So you you already knew what it was. You know, yeah. I mean, before they knew what it was, you know what I mean. So yeah. that's 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 definitely um that's definitely inspiring. But what inspired the music? What inspired Uber Gang mm-hmm. the music? Like, take me back to that first time where you was like, "Yo, this is something I want to do." Man, that music, man. Honestly, that music, music chose me, man. Like, I was as I was going through things in life, like. Like I used to, music used to help me get through stuff. You know what I'm saying? Whether if it's me making my music or me listening to other people's music, and like, I, I just, I just, I got on stage, and I, when I, when I make my music, I, I put my soul in it. You know, right. I just don't, I just don't make songs just to like. I, I gotta put, I gotta put my soul in it. That's the only way that I can produce some music. So, right, I, I started putting my soul in it, and and. and and it became like you know, you know, when you do it that way, it's 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 slow. It's a slow grind. Right, when you do right. it that it's, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a marathon. Yeah. It's a marathon. You figuring it out as you go. Yeah. So when what what part of your life did you did you did you decide that this is something you want to take serious? So once 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 you knew it was embedded in you and you was chosen to do it, when did you decide? Okay, I'm gonna accept this responsibility 
and I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and do it for real. Like when, when did that time come for you? <clears throat> that time came for me when I realized that when people listen to my music, I motivated people and I inspired people and like, you know, people that actually know me in my personal life, like, like would be like, man, your music is like, I get a vibe. When I listen to your music, I get a different vibe that I don't get from nobody else. Right. So I, I feel like that's a God given talent that God blessed me with right. that. You know what I mean? I was like, let me go ahead and use my talent. Maybe he, this is what he chose me to do. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and, and I know, you know, as myself being an artist, I know exactly how you feel. You hear what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, you, you tapped in and you like, yo, this is, this is something I need to do. I got to do, I got to put it out yeah. there. The people love what I'm putting out there. The people love what I'm saying. Things like that. Do you produce any of your own music? Um, I, I haven't produced, no, I don't produce any of my music. I have, a um, I have a producer. I can, but he just a tad, they just a tad bit better than me when it comes to the keyboards and all right, that. Right, 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 right. I fully write all my songs. I come up with every, um, every concept to every song, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. So. No, that makes sense. That's that's cool. Like I can't, I don't produce any. You know, I don't make beats, anything like that either, right? Yeah. But I know the I know the producers that's going to give me the sound that I'm looking for, right? So yeah. that's the direction, you know. So I definitely understand that. So if you was to if if you was to uh if, if you was to be introduced to somebody that never heard your music before, right? But by word of mouth, they say, yo, you know, Uber Gang, you might want to go listen to them. And you met them before they actually got a chance to listen for the first time. And they say, yo, Uber, what, what, what can I expect when I hear uh, your music? Or how would you describe your music to me before I press play? I would tell you that my songs is going to motivate you as far as life. Life is life. You know what I'm saying? Whether I'm talking about Cash cow, let's a hey, we on a mission, mm -hmm. standing on business, on business, on business. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Whether from fourth, whether you them in fourth quarter pressure, like it's the fourth quarter, it's the end of the year. Like we, we gotta, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you, I get if, you if you've been through some real life situations, you know, you know what I mean? Like right, right, it's right. summertime where ain't no partying, ain't none of that. You know what I mean? It's like wake up, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gotta get to it at this point. Right. You know what I mean? Vacation later. You know what I mean? So right, right, I would right. say motivate. I would say my music is more motivating, a motivation to people that's in life, like going through your daily life. You know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah. I mean, that's important. You get what I'm saying? Like when you tell somebody that, OK, I'm going to go listen to that right now. You get yeah. what I mean? Like it's motivating them to go press play faster. You get yeah. what I mean? So yeah. I definitely understand that. Um, who inspired you in the music business? Or in, well, even outside of music, like who inspired yeah. you? You know, Man, like, they doing I, it. The music, the as far as the music, nobody really just inspired me. I had some people that I just like. I love that music. Like I, I love that music. But as far as inspiring, me, it, it has to be my mother and my grandmother. Like I watched my mother do. Like, like I, my daddy was never there, but I didn't feel the missing. Like right, he right, wasn't right. missed. Right, like right. I seen my mother do it all. Like. Like she would put me in music. She like you playing me. You doing music this time of the year. You doing football this time of the year and basketball this time of the year. And before you know it, the year over is. I'm gonna start it again. Right, so, right. You know right. what I'm saying. You never know what 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 which one of them can pop for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what and what city? What city did you grow up in? Did you grow up in uh, Austin, Texas? Austin, Texas. So talk to me. So talk to me about that. You know, I mean, take me back to the, that time. You got your mom. You you diving yeah. into these different sports in Austin, yeah. Texas. Like, you know, tell me that experience. What that was like, man. It's a it's a it's a great experience out there because Austin is like it's like um, it's like one of them cities where like you got to really have true talent to make it. Right. Like can't ain't ain't like ain't no sugar coating because you got a lot of money. Ain't no sugar coating because you know what I mean. You know, like. For you to for people out there to really gravitate to you or really like tap in what you got going on, it has to be it has to be like uh, it has to how can I say this? It has to be um, it has to be something that's pure, true. Like authentic. you can't, you know what I'm saying? Authentic. authentic. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. 
Like I didn't had homies call me, be like, man, bro, your voice is too good, man. Take that auto tune off. Or you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like it's just straight authentic when it comes pretty much that's just it gets the capital of Texas, you know what I mean? Right, right, but right. They they, right. they 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 for you to get Austin to tap in, you you going hard, like they judge, they judge real rough. Right, right. So, so they 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 make sure that what they put in a stamp on is official. Yeah. They ain't just stamping anybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, that's what I like. You know what I mean? Oh, don't stamp like me because I, don't, you know, yeah. what I mean? don't stamp me out of nowhere. Just, just give me my grosses if I deserve them. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I don't deserve them, then you know I don't need no trophies. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? And I, and you know, at first I used to think that it was just hate, but at the end of the day, as you, as I got older, I was like, man, I'm glad this my city was like that. Right. Because right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? It made it made things it made things it made things make things a little harder. Sorry yeah. about that. No, it's all good. It's all good. Um, you know that's crazy because nowadays, you know, I me mean, people people get recognition when they really shouldn't get the recognition. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, when I was yeah. coming up. When I was coming up, no matter what it is, whether it be a sport or you just playing a game or whatever it is, if you won, you got that recognition. You ain't get no yeah. trophies for second, third, fourth, fifth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You ain't get no yeah. certificates and all that. You know what I mean? So, like, you lost, you lost. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. work harder. You know what I mean? I think you respect it better when when, when you know yeah. that you worked hard to get to where, to get to that recognition. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um. So talk they ain't gonna that. tell you they like they ain't gonna tell you your song jamming be just cause your homeboy. They're gonna be like, bro, you, you got some work to do. I mean, I, I I like some stuff in there, bro, but hey, hey, this is this not this not this not it. This not it. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, yeah. It. You in the right direction though. This is what I like, this is what I don't like, and why? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and, and all that. So um on, on our radio station, Power 107.6, The Truth here in Jacksonville. Yo, shout out to everybody that's been supporting on that station. Has definitely been listening and tuning in. We got a, we got your single, Cash Cow, spinning on a yeah. daily rotation. Talk to me about that song. You know what I mean? I can, I can, you know, the name itself is explanatory, but I like to hear the origin and yeah. the story behind the creation of that song and, and what it means to you. You know what man. I mean? You just started to, to, to create it. So talk to me about it. Cash cow, man. That song is deep, man. Cause like basically, my family from the country out here, but I was raised in the city. Okay, I'm a city boy, like eight minutes from downtown, like where I grew up at. Right. So like, we go to the country, you know. My we got the cows out there. You, you they run, they roam in the form. You see how the cows live it. Yeah. And then I applied, I applied that cow lifestyle to the city, like. Cows, they don't miss out on no meals. You know what I'm saying? They up. Only time they land down is when they sleeping. When they up, they to it. They they right. they eating grass. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. And 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 when you when the cow is taken care of like that, like it's worth a lot of cash. Like it's a lot. You can get a lot of essentials out of a cow. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why. I, that's why. I like I go. I can show you video. I go to the farm. I I got cash cows. I point them out. I got names. You know what I mean? I can tell you, I'm I'm willing. I'm trying to get ten bands out of out of Omar. I'm trying to get forty out of you know what I mean? Right, right, Except, right. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. And like, it's I'm I'm it's cash cow living for me. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And when right. I'm in the city, I'm 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 on a cash cow mission. You know what I mean? And when I'm yeah. at that point, right, right, right. You know, I never thought about it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like cows are always up early in the morning. They always get always to it. up. You know what I'm saying? They they you, every time you see them, they eating or they moving around or they doing this. You yeah. know, what I mean? when it's too hot, they, they might go in the shade, right? They they ain't out there running and chasing after each other. You know yeah. what I mean? Nah. Lying, lying. They 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 out there doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? It's straight so, business with them. Right, Cows right. is out there. It's, it's business. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, and every and out and out, every part of the cow is worth money. Even they poop. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, People yeah. use them in poops to grow grass. Grow grass. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so do you be so do you be out there like really into that and really into that life with with with, with cows and things like that? I like really paying attention to how they bred and and taken yeah. care of and 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 what's needed to to maximize the profit. You know what I mean in that in, in that world. 
Yeah, I, I kind of grew up around cows. Like, but right now I'm not in, I'm not out there every day raising them and feeding them and all of this. Like, but I, I got ties in it. I got money investing in it. I got family. You know what I mean? Okay. That's out there that's doing it. I'm like more in the city, but you know. I mean, we still tied in. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm a cash cow. That's me. That's what they call yeah. me. Yeah, cash yeah, cow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who produced that song? Produced that song is Lil. His name is Lil Mister. Okay. Lil Mister. Okay. So when you in the studio, like, what is what is the vibe like, or, or the vibe have to be like in order for you to create a create a new song in the studio? Do you got to have something specific, or can you just go in there and get to it? I can just really go in there and get to it because I use everything in my life, every moment as I put it, I I, I put it in the art and I, and I create art. That's like my music. You know what I mean? Like uh, I just went to Vegas and I went to Vegas when I was in Vegas. I had found a studio. I went there and did a Vegas freestyle, you know, mm-hmm. you know, just seizing the moment, you know, right. When you right, living right. that when you, you know what I mean? When you living, when you living like that, you can just go in there and you can just talk about how you lived and seize the moment. And then you know, some stuff I have going, some songs I going, I have that I I written down, I done worked on for for hours and days and weeks. You know what I mean? That I go in there and I work on. But you know, I have some songs I can go in there and I just just you know what I mean? Just get the get the spitting, like you right. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I yeah. know a dude that take, you know, that's an artist that take, you know, he 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 records himself a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he'll take his he'll take his microphone and his laptop. You know what I mean? And, and whatever he can do, yeah, any, anywhere he goes. So when no. he in a hotel, boom. He, yeah. He, 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 you know what I mean? He start, you know. Because he, he coming up, them vibes is hitting him. You know, you, right, you had, yeah. if you're an artist, you know, like, what, that vibe might hit you, and you might write it down, but when you get to the studio, he ain't feeling like that no you more. ain't feeling like that. Like, yeah, I dropped yeah. that Vegas. I'm finna drop a Vegas freestyle. I was in Vegas. I had, I had a hit for, like, like, like 20K, then I, then I, then I, then I, then I changed ships when I was drinking, and I bent back and blew it. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like I was just like I, it was just like a vibe. Like I was just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right, but right, right. I mean, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like those experiences, you want to be able to talk about it. You know what I mean? Like I got the I got the instant set up too. You know what I mean? So when I'm yeah. ready, boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I definitely understand. You know, um, you got a music video for Cash Cow. I just have a mic performance. The music video hasn't mic been released yet. Performance, okay, okay. So when when are you when are you looking to uh release the video? I'm gonna release the video like mid April. I'm trying to I'm trying to let it I'm trying to let it build and build let more. It build. Let it yeah, build yeah, more. Makes sense. But makes I got sense. plenty of videos, but you know I didn't put no build behind it. You know right. what I'm saying? So people listen to songs and they like, dang, when did you drop that? Like I want them to kind of be expecting Cash Cow, like waiting for me to release it. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Right. So out of out of all the times, out of the the time that you've been in this music business, what do you feel like is the biggest lesson you've learned so far? Man, the biggest lesson I learned in this music business is when it's your time, it's your time, man. Can't nobody, can't nobody, can't nobody take away from you what God has meant for you. When it's your time, it's your time. Like you can make a good song, and but if it's not your time, it's just not your time to, you know, right, to, right. To, to for it to blow or whatever, man. That's right. how. That's what I take up out of it. Well, you know the thing about a good song, you know what I mean. If you feel like it's a great song and it was made three years ago, you yeah. can still release that song three years later. Because yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it's old to you, it's new to a lot of other people. You know exactly. what I mean? So and now you're performing a song you made three years ago that popped. You thought it's supposed to pop then, but it's popping now. And that's that you that's that it's your turn situ- you know, scenario. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, I definitely understand that. Let me ask you this: if you can go back and in, in, in uh in time and talk to your younger self, what 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 what's the conversation you think you would start off with first? Man, if I could go back and talk to my younger self, man, I would just tell myself to be more patient, man. I got myself in a lot of shit from Russian. Right. Russian, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, back in the day, you know what I mean? Like making songs, thinking that, 
oh, man, if this song don't do nothing right now, then, you know what I'm saying, it's pretty over. Then you get to panicking and doing other crazy shit, right. excuse me, other crazy stuff and land up, land in some place that you ain't want to be, jail, whatever, you know what I mean, right, hospital, right. whatever. So no, no, it'll just be patience for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Patience is, is a is a big thing. You know what I'm saying? It, it, patience is big. You know what I mean? And you learn you learn to to have patience, um, you know, over time, because because of experience. But I look at it like this, man. If you don't you don't really you don't really get to uh, celebrate the the things that you're blessed with without going through some things that put you in a situation where you in, yeah. you know what I mean, where you can learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you can learn from it. Now yeah. you done been through some stuff. You know what I mean? And now you can appreciate it because now, you know, you're, you're up to the next level and you're like, man, I don't think I would have appreciated that if I got this at that time, you know, as much as I yeah. do now. You know? Um, uh-huh. So I definitely that's hear it. that. That's it. So, so besides music, you know, is, is Uber getting into anything else? You know what I'm saying? With any, yeah. You know, I know the business piece of it, right? The cash cow, you know, the cows and things like that. But yeah. I'm talking movies. I'm talking about, you know, I mean, whatever. It doesn't necessarily got to be within Man. the entertainment business. But what else? Yeah. What else you looking to do? Man, now right now, I'm a Uber gang. We got, we get, we got these, we, I, I have these mobile vans that I'm getting set up. And it's gonna be like a mobile barber around the city in the city yeah, of yeah. Dallas. Like we're gonna be, we all have barbers that's gonna be in there, and they gonna they gonna come to you to your business, to your video shoot, to your family reunion, to your house, to your basketball game. And you're gonna be able to get a haircut, like like you know what I mean, like a okay, mobile yeah. barber, like more convenient for you. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Like, like when that. do you need me to come through? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up, especially like. Yeah. That clientele, that's clientele out there for, and you don't necessarily, you, the way you said it, you know what I mean, for, for just general everyday type of events, you know what I mean? Like you said, the the weddings and, the, and, yeah. and, and just to come to the house or the events and things like yeah. that, you know, I can get you fresh that day. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that, that day, that like day. you ain't got to break stride. If you got a schedule, like if you going, you got to be fitted for a suit, if you got to take the kids to the grocery store. You got a set schedule. Just let me know when you want me to squeeze into that. You want me to park outside the grocery store when you right. get out while your wife shopping or you want me to pull up to the car lot. Right, get right. Fresh. You want me to pull up to the video shoot or right. like, like you want me to pull up outside the mall? Like, just let me know. You know what I mean? Right, right, Uber, right. Uber, Uber, Uber everywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, what, you know, I mean, if if what if you can go back and, and change something about the, the music business right now, you know what I'm saying? Like based on what you know about the music business coming up, yeah, the music business today. Hey. And you feel like, yo, I, I wouldn't have did that. Well, what what uh what thing would you feel like you would have changed or or, or stayed away from? Mm. Or urge people to stay away from. I would urge people to um that's a good question right there. From 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 then until the day, I would urge people to to um, stay away from. I would say the fake views and all the and all the all the fake likes and stuff that's going right. around. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Because at the end of the day, that's just wasting money because it's not real organic. Like when your stuff is in the streets, people don't know you, but you got a hundred k views, a hundred k streams. You right, know what I mean? Right, right, right. So, people putting the wool over the head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. With the veil. You know what I mean? They, they, they can't. You can't use that for any type of analytics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like back in the day, like you know what I'm saying? When Rap City, the Basement, and BT and 106 and Park was coming on, like, like you know what I mean? Like it wasn't none of that like that. You know. They want, you had to was, get you had to get in the streets in the trunks and yeah and, and pull up and do events and yeah. put, you like know now, shake some hands and network and things like yeah. that. Now you got right. now people want to see you like yeah they want right. to see you right, right you know right. what I mean they want to put they want to put a face to a name they want to you know what I mean that's how they feel like they you know they, they yeah, it, it's real yeah. they can they can put a human to to a situation you know what I mean yeah so, yeah um, I just feel like nowadays that. A lot of the music is, I mean, it's more entertaining. It's not real, like, 
You know what I mean? Like people are more trying to entertain you just to get views right, than they're right. actually they actually speak the real or give tell you some truth. substance. Yeah, and give you something. Yeah. You They'll know, do whatever they do to and whatever to get the views nowadays. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Because they set it up now where you get money off the of streams and stuff like that. Right. So people are doing weird stuff like for for views. You know, you know how it is. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Let me ask you this: Are you looking to release a full project in the future? I know you're waiting to put that video out and anticipate. You know, give people the anticipation of cash cow and things like that. But talk to me about like a future project. Is that you know in the works? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Cash Cow is a, it's the it's my mixtape. Cash oh. Cow is a single that I dropped, but the mixtape is called Cash Cow, and it will be getting released uh, the end of April. I okay. told them, I told everybody I was gonna release it before the spring was over with. So yeah. and I'm I bagged it to the end of April. So about April the 29th, around that time, I will be releasing a whole eight eight EP tape. You okay. know what I mean? With people to okay. tap in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Listen, man. Um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put up your 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 social media, you know what I mean? Yeah. Official Uber gang. You know yeah. what I mean? Let me put that up here right now. Get that, get that showing. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So if y'all do anything, make sure y'all follow Uber Gang on Instagram and all that other stuff. What else? What else we got coming, man? I know you got something out there in the works, man. You know, man, what I, mean? I got a lot, I got so much coming, man. I don't know where to start, man. No, I hear so, you. I'm about to go to Jersey. I got a show in Jersey uh, next Thursday. Then I'm going to Atlanta. I'm going to be at a podcast. I'm going to be on this podcast. Then, uh, if you're going to go to Atlanta, you need to you need to pull up on my business partner, Tampa Mystic. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and Industry's Most Wanted. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If that's in Atlanta, pull up on her. You know what I'm saying? You Hit her up on Instagram. You know what I mean? Um, and, and book that. You know what I'm saying? Lock yeah. in. And that yo, she got a she got a you know a headquarters a podcast. She definitely if you're gonna go to Atlanta, you know what I mean. I don't know nobody that go to Atlanta that that I talk to that don't pull up on Tampa. You get what I'm saying? So that me with I pull up, with, I pull up on her, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And speaking speaking of what else you got going on, you know, we dropping in April, we dropping the official magazine, the issue 85 of the Grind yeah. Report. You know what I'm saying? So do our big brand groundwork enterprises on the ground live. We got the magazine, the ground report, and we got you featured in that magazine. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, you know, I'm what on I mean? the grind, baby. You're on the grind. Yeah, I'm on the know? grizzly. Definitely. So we got them in that magazine. Go make sure y'all go check out the ground report. Grind with a wise. You see it on the screen. Um, the 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 Instagram page. We got the graphics, so you can see what Uber look like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What it's gonna look like? But y'all need to check out when the magazine drop. You need to really see what the the, the, the glossiness, the freshness of, yeah. of what of the brand that 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 Uber's bringing to the to the table. You get what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We got some dope people in there from all walks of life, all walks of entertainment, all walks of everything across the country. And Uber's in there, like you know what I mean? And we building it. We building it. It's coming out. It's coming out real crazy. So make sure y'all y'all tune in. Um, what else? What else you want to tell the people? Is there any other additional, you know, uh, social medias and things like that you want to yeah. get? Yeah, man. Um, man, Spotify, um, Apple Music, um, everything Uber Gang, Facebook mm -hmm. official Uber Gang. You know. I mean, you can pretty much put it in the Google search and it's gonna come up, it's man. But I, yeah. I wanna I wanna tell the people out there, hey man, hey, it's a daily grind, man. Right, and it's right. a beautiful grind. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a fact. It's a it's a beautiful grind out there. So whatever you're doing in life, man, I hope you keep going and I hope you don't let nothing stop you. Yeah, you know? yeah, agree, agree. You know, any shout outs you wanna give before we get out of here? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my boy Trail for linking me in with you. Shout out Trail. Yeah. Trail on the beat. What's up? Salute. Yeah, it's Trail on the yeah. beat. I want to give a shout out to my producer, Lil Mister. Um, that's a bad boy, man. He nice. I want to give a shout out to to my um my boy ABG, my brother Big AJ. Yeah. You know what I mean? Them boys, they they we they put in a lot of work behind the scenes on my stuff. Behind yeah. the scenes, behind the curtains. Yeah, they put yeah, in a lot yeah. of work. You know what I'm saying? And uh 
I just want to give a shout out to anybody out there that ever supported me, man, that ever showed me any type of love. Even shout out my haters, because y'all the ones that keep you motivated, man. Yeah. I keep me on my toes. That right. make me feel like every time I get in the booth, I can't just come in any type of way, because right, right. nigga waiting to say, man, this shit trash. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? Right. They don't want to give you your flowers, but I'm going to make them have to. You, you know, know what, what though? If you got haters, you know you're doing something right. Yeah. You know what I mean? When they start paying attention to you, when they start hitting the comments, when they start trying to hack your social media, when oh, they start man. trying to, you know what I'm saying? When they, they start trying to, that. they know, they know, you know you're doing something right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, man, the devil coming. I might as well keep going. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, the devil mm -hmm. is coming, man. That's why I got to always give my my, my honors to God, man. Because right, one thing, right, right, right. for the Father, you know, we wouldn't be able. Right. You know what I mean? But... Anybody who go listen to my music, just know I'm gonna give you my all. You know, I, mean, I only exactly. know one way. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm like, saying? That's what it is. Well, listen, I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Pulling up. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody tuning in and all that. If you just missed it, hit that rewind on YouTube because we went live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Or X, whatever they want to call themselves these days. We was live on it. You know what yeah. I mean? So, um, and then we'll we'll be on that Spotify's and iHeartRadio so y'all can check it in while y'all yeah. driving. So stop playing. You know you're going to yeah. back in. Make sure y'all go, y'all y'all get ready for Cash Cow. Yes, um, be ready for the Grind Report. If you want to listen to the song Cash Cow, you need to tune in to Power 107.6 The Truth. Just go to uh, 107.1076 thetruthcom and then just just sit there and listen. It's going to pop up. Trust me. Uber Gang, Shaw Cipher. Yes, on the grind live. I talk to you. Salute.